So I'm going to do a three, uh, three liter 2020 Explorer winter package. So I'm going to show you how to change the oil and stuff in that first per Ford spec. And then I'll show you how to change the cabin air filter and all that stuff in the same video. It's going to be everything all in one video. So um, I'm doing wiper blades, cabin air filter, oil change, and then the tire rotation and stuff and all that we're not going to cut. But I want to do the main stuff. The, the oil change and the cabin air filter are my main focus here. So we're going to get around to that right now. Let me flip this camera around. Let's get started. All right, when you open this hood, you make sure you pull the hood latch thing inside the vehicle twice, once and twice, and that opens the hood. There's no latch underneath here. When you look for the oil filter, it's right here. So I pulled the oil now. It's a 27 millimeter. These are sockets that are made for um, oil filter canisters like this. Uh, the Ford part number is an FL2062-A. I've got the new one laying here on a, some clean towels. These old O-rings, they have to come out. So you're going to carefully, with a pick, very, very carefully, pull this bottom one out. And you have to be super careful. What I would do, if you can, is take a razor blade and just, just barely cut through that O-ring and then peel it off of there. Because you will break the nub off of this thing if you're not careful. I've seen guys do it on like the 27 Eagle Boost and like the F-150s and stuff. So O-rings here, this one here, new filter installed, new O-rings on. And uh, basically when you start the job, leave the cap and everything off for now. Go ahead and raise the vehicle up, take the lower panel off, and then we'll get down there and I'll show you what's up with that. Because I got it up in the air now. I'm going to show you something too, strategic lift points. You can see where somebody has been lifting this vehicle wrong, so I'm going to go ahead and bend that back the right way. It's actually supposed to be between the opening tabs right here. There's two little arrows that point the direction they want you to go. See that? And then back here, there's another arrow right there. It points where these need to be lifted in the double pinch weld area. So make sure you're lifting these in the right spot or else you'll crush that pinch, pinch weld. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this lower plate off here. There's a couple push clips. You can see there's like a little relief spot. And then there's a 7 mil on each side, I think. Well, push clips, 7 mil, 7 mil, 7 mil. So there's three 7 mils and some push clips. So go ahead and pull that down. And then get your drain pan under. And then there's a quick release plug that you turned 90 degrees, I think, to the left. And then it starts draining immediately. But watch it because you'll get that all over your hand. So this is a 3 liter, 3 liter turbo. So, so here we go. kind of tough to turn it so be careful all right so there it goes 90 degrees and then pull move your hand out of the way quick Ooh, that stuff is black anyhow let it drain go back up put all your o-rings on your filter housing put everything back in make sure your center filter is pushed down inside its insert all the way you'll feel it push back past the lip and then when you screw your filter on, you'll feel it stop. You ain't got to get crazy gorilla strong with it. Just screw it down until it's snug. And then be done with it and fill it back up. Six quarts of 530. So I got a little distracted and I had to do some other things. Um, so I'm going to finish up this oil change. So what did we do? We pulled the canister filter out of the top. We let everything from the top drain down, right? I, st I showed you the FL2062 filter and the O-rings all need to be replaced. It's important those get replaced as well. And then we lifted the vehicle up in the air, pulled the back little panel down, which were some 7 mils and some clips, and just folded it down. You don't have to do the front metal one, just the back one. And then we twisted the drain 90 degrees or so, pulled it out, let it drain completely, put the plug back in. That's enough time for everything to drain through. And then we went put the vehicle back on the ground, put six quarts of 5W30 in it, made sure our filter and stuff was all snug down, nice and snug, and then that's it, that's the oil change. But now you gotta reset the oil light, right? So let's flip this around and I'll show you how to do that. Now bear with me a second, I'm still new to this. These vehicles are brand new. I, I go to the menu button here, and this is an ST, so be conscious of that too. Menu, scroll down, go to settings, It backed out. Go to settings, oil life, and then hold it down. It resets. 